They say life on the farm is hard but honest work. But in common ground world, we farm for a greater cause. Saving the planet one soil patch at a time. Build an eco-friendly town, leveraging regenerative agriculture and recover valuable soil. Compete in weekly competitions to earn great prizes. Get rewarded for helping to support our ecosystem and your fellow farmers. Eager to learn more? Well, head on over to Gala Games and start playing now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy yes, Friday. happy yeah. Friday. How y'all doing? Great. Doing, doing very well. Great. Hope good. everybody else is for the too. Weekend. Oh man. Well, I am so excited to see the five of us here. Um, hey everybody who's listening. Uh, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining in. This is our April 5th town hall. And we've been doing this weekly since about July of 2022. And we meet to share news about what's going on, what's coming up, uh, sales, competitions, all that good stuff. And um, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube that you click like and you click subscribe. And that way you won't have to ask in Discord when's it starting. You could turn on the little bell too. Bell too. <laughs> so thank you for joining. Uh, starting off hot, we got uh, who we got in chat today, Ed's Dream. Dash Rip Rock has questions. New free lunch. Uh, who else we got? Edie Lugs. O Town. Volcron. I bet. I bet that dude's handsome. Um, Ed Stream. Zyre. Zyre. <laughs> Blake. CGN. Man, we got several guilds represented here. That's pretty cool. And Lazy Lumberjack with the yeehaw. Oh man, well, it's going to be a, a cool AMA, oh sorry, town hall today. Um, we put together several visuals about some stuff. We got news and uh, let's jump into, uh, actually, where are these questions from, Farmer Michelle? Like if people want, if they're not live, and but they want their questions answered, how would they do that? Uh, we've got an AMA question for AMA question form. It's also in the pins, and there it is. Thank you for posting it for me. All right. Anytime yeah, so you have any questions, just throw them there, and we'll uh, we'll check them out as we discuss them in our pre-AMA meeting. Nice. <clears throat> yeah. Um, some you know some companies or or teams or whatever they do, town halls, AMAs, a little uh, free form, but we we usually plan these out pretty well. We have lots of. Um, scheduling we reread all your questions every week and so if you submit it we will read it uh okay well let's jump straight into headlines um uh i'll just say first uh after our headlines and all that i'm gonna do game updates where i'll talk about guilds and daily challenges um farmer michelle what about rewards uh, no yeah. rewards went out this week because we didn't have an event last week. Mm. We had uh, we had skipped that event. It's going to be rescheduled. I think it got moved to like the 7th of May. I put up a schedule just the other day in the announcements. So if you're looking for that, you can see it there. Alrighty. But there were no rewards sent this week. Okay. And uh, Mr. Ninja Surprise, how is it going on the Zeely world? Zealy world is perfect. Uh, we just had the rewards for March go out. Actually, like in record time, I was seeing on uh, the Twitter or X, uh, so quite a few of you were already getting the uh, rewards uh, pretty much quickly. Uh, so thanks to Riant for uh, sending them out in like record time with that. Uh, I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, why you guys should totally join our Zealy board uh, if you guys are looking for new ways to earn and support common ground world and everything that we've been doing you guys can we're in some pretty cool um 
have a shot at earning some rewards. Uh, you, you're seeing that people are getting rewards and working hard to just create, um, you know, content around Common Ground. And uh, that's, you know, how you can get rewarded here. And, you know, it's just the, the love of Common Ground that, you know, can help unlock a new ways to earn and, uh, you know, in the, in the Zealy board. So yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, I normally post the link to get some free XP for just attending the town hall. So be sure to check it out uh, hmm. if you haven't already. Um, and additionally, I wanted to show you guys a new little initiative that we've been doing here. Uh, I've been actually wanting to do this for quite a while. And uh, we finally are getting around to it. And that's the illustrations. Uh, so I've been working with the creative team to publish illustrations uh, depicting the characters. Uh, I've been working with a really talented creative team. And they did this recent, uh, they did the first one uh, just recently for Easter. And I've been really uh, liking the um, really liking what how it's been going so far. Uh, we have a uh, we're going to be doing these uh, doing a lot more of these. So be sure to keep an eye out. I really like you know telling stories uh, with illustrations, and that's what I'm looking for. Um, looking to do with these. Um, one last notice here is uh, in celebration of Earth Day. It looks like we're going to be having a little um, contest coming up. Uh, we're going to have more on that. So be sure to, you know, stay tuned to our notific um, to the notifications and our social media for more information, but we have a little, um, a little event coming up for earth day, uh, with the socials hmm. and everything. So be sure to check that out. And that's all for me. Oh man. Earth day, huh? Hey, yeah. do you have, when it comes to Zeely, is there a particular way to log into that, that you would recommend? You know, some people are like, oh, yeah, don't use uh, single sign-on or always create a new email or always use single sign-on. Uh, yeah, you, I personally tie it to the email, but uh, you can also log in. I I believe you actually have to use email with Zealy, but you can connect uh, like your X profile. You can connect your Discord. And when you connect uh, your socials, uh, you know, your Discord or your Twitter profile, it allows you to... Uh, like basically for the admin of that Zealy board, not just for ours, but any Zealy board. There's a bunch of different Zealy boards out there, but it basically allows the admin to be able to contact you if you are to receive some sort of reward. And this is why, uh, this is why, like you know, I really try to strive for you guys to make sure that you have correct information. Make sure that it's an account that you have the logins to. Make sure that any sort of information you're providing to the admin is correct. Because if it isn't, then it's going to be hard to track you down if you do receive a reward. If it's from a sprint, if it's from the monthly rewards. So uh, you know, that's why I really encourage you to, when you connect a wallet, if you connect a, a social profile, make sure that it's something that you are actively using and that it is something that you. <clears throat> um, uh, that you uh, are okay with being contacted through. Um, but yeah, like, you know, to sign on through Zealy, um, I would personally just use like a burner email or an email, like whatever you <laughs> prefer to use. Okay. All righty. Cool. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think s several of our players are not quite involved in Zealy yet. And I think it's a, a valuable way to get rewards outside of the game. Definitely. And, you know, it's a really good, good way to, uh, you know, get creative and just, you know, if you just want to create some content, show some support for us and, um, you know, you can also get rewarded uh, for producing really cool stuff. So yeah, oh. that's why I encourage everybody to go check it out. Okay. Well, let's jump straight into game updates. Uh, I've got some screenshots for everybody. Uh, uh Oh, LV postman. There's been an earthquake in Pennsylvania. Oh boy. Um, so I'm going to share, I don't know, about 13 or 14 little screenshots in here. So the first one, um, as you're familiar with this, of course, the game, and there's the little guild button up there. Um, I want to show you guys what we're doing on guilds and tell you that we're going to take a little longer on the integration testing of this. We were hoping to release guilds April 1st. Obviously, it's the 5th. And I think some of, as you see these screenshots and stuff, you'll be like, Oh, okay, there's some localization things, whatever. But we just really want to make sure we get this right. <clears throat> and the reason is that there's so much on the back end, for instance, NFT ownership and things like that. And if you don't know what the guilds feature is, I'm going to go into that a bit. Um, it, it really needs to be as low bug as possible, um, especially because of the library feature. And you're like, well, what is the library feature? Well, uh, let me show you. So <clears throat> when you click that little guild button up there, if you're already in a guild, you will see something like this. 
Now, pardon our our dev. <laughs> Put on your dev goggles. <laughs> uh, this still needs an art pass. Basically, this shows you, this is in game right now. Um, this shows you who's in the guild, right? Two out of 20 members. There's a little tab for the library. You can see the unlocalized thing where it says leave the guild. You know, ignore those little woke strings there, but this is where you're going to manage it, right? So the main purpose of the TLDR is play with your buddies and uh, borrow NFTs from the guild leader. Now in Guilds V2 and later on and all that, we're going to have more than just the guild leader probably be, being able to contribute. But right now, we're going to limit it to that. And you're like, well, how do I add people to the guild? Well, you'll go into, when you go to add people, if you're allowed to, if you're an officer or a leader, um, you'll go into invite members and you'll do a player search. Now, this is the first time we've added a player search for any reason to the game. And there's a, a fair amount of back-end tech to go through to do this, but... Devs put that in and um, you'll get the results and you send the invite and then they will get that on their end. And um, I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. So pretty straightforward, right? Um, then we've got, if you click the leave button, you want to leave your guild. Okay. Very obvious stuff. You're going to cancel or, you know, whatever. Uh, O-Town question. Can I lead a guild and also join another one? Uh, no. So you can only be in one guild at one time. And one of the, what's called an edge case. Oh, here comes, <laughs> here comes my trash truck. Sorry, guys. <laughs> one of the edge cases is, well, what if I have an NFT, which guild ownership is tied to an NFT, and I ship it over to somebody else. I just transfer or sell the NFT. Let's, you know, what happens then? Well, then that person becomes the guild leader. And it, at that point, you will be, or maybe for other reasons, uh, you will be kicked from the guild, right? You're not in the guild anymore. You don't own the NFT and you haven't received an invite. Um, and so then there's edge questions too, like, well, hold on. What if the guy I send it to is already in a guild? Well, what happens then is the new guild, the one or the newer one to that player that you send it to, that guild, the one that you're giving up, uh, becomes inactive. It still has all the members and everything, but it's just inactive. So you can't use the library, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So you're like, well, all right, what's guild create look like? That's pretty minimal. Um, we've got some really cute little uh, badges that the art team put in uh, a couple weeks ago. And we've just got name and tag and the badge. And eventually we'll have other things like description and some sliders and you know, other, other things, maybe message of the day editor, things like that. So no, we're not. I knew I, I shouldn't have used the word pal, but thanks Tydra. So anyway, so the, so I'll give you a little preview of some of the other badges here. Very cute. Put your dev goggles back on for this. Obviously it needs a better border. It's text localized. Um, but there, I think there are about 40 to 42 different badges, a lot of countries, a lot of units, things like that. And we talked about like, well, you know, what if people want to upload their own, you know, a guild has maybe its own art or whatever. Maybe we might work with you guys on that, but we just, we didn't want to open image editing. Yeah. Like new free lunch is like, I want to design a badge, right? We all want to customize things, but at this time, letting uh, players share images with other players through our platform, um, just not something we're super interested in policing. Now the next one, um, dubstep rod, where's the badge with the Telstra playbook or Telstra logo? Yeah. So the next one is like kind of the whole point is like the guild library. So when you're looking at your, uh, through the guild interface, through your, uh, NFTs, you have an option to add something to the library. Now you can see how this could be complicated, right? Cause you're like, well, what if I've got three spheres of hope, you know, or whatever, a uh, bunch of rare water pumps. What if four of them are on my board? What if one of them is borrowed? Like I don't actually own it. You know, I've, I've borrowed it from the guild or something um, down the line. And then I've got only two that are eligible, you know, to actually put in the guild library. Uh, that, that can be confusing. So here's a rough draft on how, if you flip the little info panel over, 
um, just how we're going to sum up the different states that when we say you have seven, what does that mean? Well, you owned seven, maybe you've placed seven, you know, that way it makes it a little more clear. Uh, we're still kind of going back and forth on the UI on this. To, it's a lot of numbers and a lot of status and the best way to communicate that to players. So if, you know, you have ideas, let us know. But that's that's the summary of how that works. And you're going to take your guild and stick some NFTs in it. And now your, your guild mates can use it. Um, there are limits. And uh, the level of your guild determines the limits, like how many people can be in it, how big the library is, stuff like that. When you receive an invite, you can receive multiple invites. <clears throat> Here's one, sorry about the little debug bar at the top, but um, yeah, in our little sandbox environment, I had two invites waiting. Um, all the devs decided to name all their guilds after chickens. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's a joke, but, <laughs> but it's in there. And um, so you can accept or reject any of these um, you know, invites as they come in. Let's see, who got UFO NFT number six is asking. So the only guy who got a note can share his NFTs, not any member. Yeah, that's right. Right now, um, we're limiting it to just the leader. Obviously, we want everybody to be able to contribute. But for Guilds V1, only the owner of that node can stick their NFTs in there. Okay. So that's roughly, you know, what there'll, there'll be more a little bit, but that's roughly what Guilds do. It's off the chain. You know, this is not a chain transaction, um, NFT sharing. So if you're the guild leader and you stick it in there, it's still your property, totally driven by the game database. Nobody, there are no locks, there's no allowances. You don't have to put in your transfer code. It's purely game data, right? Okay. So if anybody has any questions before I move on to daily challenges and earning, let me pause here for a minute. Do, do. do you guys feel like um, that sums it up? Guilds V1? What do you think, Wild Moopsie? No, that sounds good. Okay. Got it all. Just trying to see if I can answer any questions in the chat as well, but looks like Michelle's got it. Oh my gosh, that trip rock, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Uh, will guilds offer rewards at the start or eventually? You know what? I think it might be time to talk about that. But <laughs> let me share our daily challenges. <clears throat> so this first picture I'm going to share, it's uh, image number 10 in our list here. Y'all are familiar with the events, of course. <clears throat> now, we haven't started the dev work on the daily challenges. What we've been doing is doing all of our tech design documents, all the wireframes, um, all the planning, all the backend planning, checking for cheats, like all the planning ahead of time. This has been going on for well over a month. Hey, Nacho. And um, what I mocked up here was in the, the middle pane there was how you will see the daily challenge. It'll be right there just with all the other ones. We'll probably style it differently. You know, it might have a green border or something. Um, Moise, there is no cost to borrow NFTs from the leader. It's just part of the guild. Um, yeah, so on the daily challenge, they're going to be just like any other event. They'll last 24 hours. Um, Wild Moopsie will be setting that up. and uh, Or they might be like 23 hours and 50 minutes or you know whatever. So then you'll see them in game. You'll recognize this UI if you're an old school player, right? It'll look uh, basically just like this. Um, it's going to show you the progress toward your challenge on each one. Uh, you're going to see like, oh, you know, you harvested or sorry, you sold 200 of 500 uh, wheat, a thousand bicycles, you know, whatever. Uh, different border, please. Okay. So once you've completed your challenge, you are eligible to request a claim. This is going to look familiar to you guys too, right? Uh, probably won't look exactly like this, but this is how it looked in the live game, right? And it'll show you. Now, here's the important part. It's going to show you the number of town points you're going to earn when you click claim rewards. 
So just like in the old game, uh, the play canvas version, you're going to have to apply your NFT to your town. That means like if it's a skin and it's an earning uh, skin or something you can't place, you're going to have to you know go in your library, click apply. You're going to have to take your, if it is a building that needs to be done, it has to exist in your town um, and for it to be eligible to count as town points. And um, question I'll get to in a sec there, Lumberjack. And um, yeah, and then when you click claim rewards, that's queued up and you won't be able to claim rewards for that same competition again uh, ever. You could abandon your town, whatever, but you're only going to be able to claim rewards once. Likewise, there's a 24 hour cooldown on any, there will be a 24 hour cooldown on any of those NFTs when you transfer them to your friend uh, in terms of using them for claiming. So if you really want your buddy to use an NFT uh, he's, that you use to claim, well, the NFT can't be used to claim twice in the same competition and it can't be used in the same in the same 24 hour period. So there's two kind of locks there, right? Um, question, Lazy Lumberjack, won't there be any funny business with NFT sharing? Yeah, there is there is a little bit of uh, funny business with NFT sharing, and that's what we are putting a significant amount of work into around uh, NFT ownership. You know, setting limits on uh, obviously, like I just said, the twenty four hour cooldown on the um, fast forward. Um, you know, and and other things that we'll get to in a sec. So. You're thinking like, okay, cool. So I do I do my daily challenge, and um, Nacho has a question: Can we place more earning NFTs than the ones used to claim when the challenge is met? I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you if you sell like 500 wheat and that was all you had to do, yeah, go ahead and you know destroy some buildings or whatever, place your NFTs down, and then click claim. And it'll tell you right there on the modal, it'll say, hey, here's how many points you're going to get. Now, <clears throat> what do you guys think about this? Let me show you one of my Miro boards. Um, let me know what you think about this. So currently, and the way it kind of always was, you click claim rewards and you get all those points. But what if the NFT you're using came from the guild? What if you checked it out? What if a certain percent, let's say 10%, we, we don't know the exact number yet, but what if that percent went to the owner of the NFT? So you, you did the work, you clicked claim, and then the person who actually owned it, the guild leader, eventually other guild members, whatever, they get a percent cut of that. Now it doesn't increase like that, that, in, in, NFT is only going to ever earn however many points it's advertised as, right? But that pie is split a little bit. So that would give you, as the owner of the NFT, the ability to passively gain from the distribution. We're talking about using the dirt coin, right? Um, every night without having to play. Um, if you don't have time to play or, you know, whatever. So Will Banks, or sorry, Will Bake uh, says... Owner should get 50%. Um, yeah, so this is lightweight renting. And the person who's running the guild, because it's through guilds that you loan your NFTs out, right? We're thinking about there may be a slider, but there might be constraints on that. Like, well, a level one guild is always 90-10 and level two you can choose or, you know, that's very, that's, that's a bit far off, that kind of slider thing. But I wanted you guys to know what we're thinking about in terms of this lightweight uh, rental system and how it comes into play in uh, daily challenges. So yeah, give us your feedback on that. Let us know your uh, thoughts. So that is our guilds and our daily challenges updates, I believe. Oh, also, I know it's been annoying you guys. Uh, we'll go straight into fixes here. Um, of course, Wild Moopsie done a million data fixes over the past week, as always. And... But the big ones were the uh, storage bugs and the stuck units. So uh, one of our devs found the root cause. Um, it was quite a nasty bug in terms of 
finding what was actually causing it. Uh, we ended up having to modify one of the buildings to have uh, to spew a hundred chickens to kind of see it. So that was funny. Um, but that should be fixed. If it's not fixed, let us know. Um, that went out last week. So that's our game updates. Do do. You want to move on to Q and A, Farmer Michelle? I will start the first question. This is for Riant. Hey, Riant, will there be a May Mayhem event this year? Yes, there will be a May Mayhem. However, uh, we are still in the planning phase, so I still cannot leak anything as nothing is set on stone yet. But as soon as we are good to go and to release the, uh, probably it's going to be a blog post, post uh, with all the gala efforts that will be happening during May Mayhem. So we're okay. really looking forward for it happening soon. Awesome. Okay. Um, May Mayhem. So maybe no buildings with 100 chickens. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> anything is possible. That's anything's possible. Okay. Uh, next questions for Farmer Michelle. Let's see. Uh, this time I received a town node uh, NFT. I, node. I ran two nodes before it was an NFT. I made a purchase and I received an airdrop. So there's some uh, discrepancy between the purchased town node NFT or town node license versus the one that was airdropped to them. So Farmer Michelle, do you have yeah. any Yep, uh, we're still figuring out what we're doing with that. There are uh, just under, I think, 100 people who had gotten Townstar nodes from Founders node drops, and they didn't purchase the Townstar nodes. So uh, we only did the NFTs so far for people who had purchased the Townstar nodes directly from the store. So we still got that last little bit of the process to go through. So just be patient, and we'll get uh, we'll get a note out to that. I'm not sure what the amount will be it may just be one node uh, nft for each node uh, but we'll have more information as we get closer to that point but all we've done so far is send out the node nfts for people who directly purchased the actual nodes hmm. all righty the next one is for wild moopsie um lettuce is this only needed in one craft uh for now yes but um we are always adding more crafts so that we can uh, use them in the future. So as you can tell, lettuce is a very uh, a basic uh, craft that uh, a lot of different types of foods will use. So you'll probably see this in the future. OK. Um, man, I really want to make a knock knock joke about lettuce in. OK, <laughs> so the next question is for Farmer Michelle about red steel. Will it have the same requirements as it used to have? It will not. I did actually post the requirements, I think, last week. It's down to, oh, let me see. Let me pull it up real fast. It's just, it's still 14 strawberries, but it is now, go back. Let's see. Five steel, five energy, and 14 strawberries are the requirements for red steel now. Oh. Hmm. All righty. That'll still have the same craft time as I had before. It'll still be stored in the warehouse, still be made at the steel mill. All right. Next one's for Wild Moopsie. Um, and these are all questions that came in on that form that we linked at the start of the town hall, by the way, guys. Um, I've enjoyed the Artisan Guild and the Pot of Gold NFTs. They've been great fun for Cash Rush and for Jewelry Metas. But as good as they are, they've also uh, impacted the Mama and Papa panners a bit. Could we add more jewelry ores like Platinum so the panners feel needed again? They are lonely in their retirement. <laughs> yeah, it's something we're looking into uh, when we saw this message. Um, so, yeah, uh, we might probably add more stuff in the future as well make panners more uh, useful. OK. It's definitely a game balancing thing that we're working on, mm. trying to make everything useful. All righty. Kind of along those lines, the next one's for Farmer Michelle. Um, with the current trend of Leaky Wednesdays, 
is it possible in the future that the casual server is available to choose the biome and the sides? Um, I guess I mean the what we call the super tiles. Um, this would help keep players engaged. Um, so they could be done with their build early and they start tinkering with next week's meta early. Uh, what do you think about that for Michelle, getting out the full meta info early? I did uh, say that we would start that next week. So from now on, on Wednesdays, you'll have full meta information for the following week's event. That way you can start planning early. I'll make sure I get the full town posted with the image and everything. And then we'll do leaks for the next week. If any of you check out the bot command for the, the TS meta bot command, you'll see that that format has changed also. So it now has all the information for this week's meta, all the information for next week's meta, and then some leaks for the following week. So we're a full week ahead now. So Leaky Wednesday is now extra leaky. <laughs> uh, there isn't currently a way to get the new biome and all of that into the casual game while the competition is live. So you'll still have to wait until Friday in order to have that in the game to play with. But you can always do your prepping and your planning in advance now that you've got the information on Wednesday. OK. Um, also a question about metas. This one's for Wild Moopsie. Uh, can we have the option to select any biome in casual mode rather than be just stuck with the meta biome? It would be nice to practice different crafts under different situations. That's a great question. In the future, it would be great to have that, but currently we don't have the capabilities of doing that. It's something I'd like to do, fix in the future, uh, the way it's implemented. So it's, it's very like um, forced to be what's similar to the metas maps mm -hmm. that we have. But eventually, when I have more time, I would like to kind of untangle that and we'll be able to actually have different uh, values and different biomes in casual. Hmm. That'll be fun. That's a hope, yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Lazy Lumberjack. Nope. Uh, I don't know that we're doing platinum. No guarantee, man. Don't make a sad face. Uh, question from Nacho. The ARC NFT will need less steel for red steel and same strawberries? Question uh, mark. Yes, I just responded to that question right in chat with a screenshot of the announcement from that NFT itself. It does say in there what the requirements will be for red steel and blue steel. All righty. Next one was uh, Coco Loco in order to earn in the daily challenges. Do the NFTs have to be on Dalla Chain or can they be on ETH? I Well, from the dev perspective, we're saying as long as they show up in your inventory, they can be used. But there may be a policy uh, that changes that. Gala might decide that in order to earn, they have to be on Gala Chain or something. So um, right now we're coding it as if it's in your inventory and it's an earning NFT, then you can use it for daily challenges to earn from. Oh, here's one for um, Reant. Oh, well, they tag from Michelle, but <clears throat> I think Reant knows this one. What <laughs> okay. will the dirt coin turn into? And what's the ratio? Oh, that's a great question. So dirt, we are, have plans to turn it into soil eventually, um, which will be used to uh, improve your NFTs once we have a great level of NFTs uh, by Q3. Uh, the ratio still is not defined, so I cannot really uh, share too much on that. Okay, makes sense. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I missed this one live one from Moyes. Um, will we be able to set the cost to rent NFTs as the guild owner? Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. For daily challenges, you know, we're talking about having a slider. But we're, we're not going to do something like, you know, uh, rent normally you pay in the real world, right? You pay ahead of time to rent. It's due on the first. We're not going to do anything like, oh, I'm going to give you, um, you know, 50 gala to use that NFT for three weeks or anything. Because that would be a chain operation. Um, we're making this feature purely game driven. So 
Next one was, will we be able to earn from the NFTs in our inventory if we have more than the spaces available in the town? Uh, great. One, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're kind of discussing that still. You have more earning NFTs than... Hey, more, you have than... more than 64, right? That's surprising. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess the guidance, like, you know, from Renato and Wild Moopsy here, Riant Wild Moopsy, um, sorry, is, um, you know, we want it to be fair. So, yeah, obviously, if you pay for something and it's sold as earning, we're, we want that to be earning. But, yeah, I don't have the details on that one yet. Let's see. So you're adding guilds, and everyone would be able to create guilds when you got a node. But aren't you scared that everyone will have a node with only one guild member? Um, not really. Um, you don't have to create a guild. And the benefit you get from it is, you know, the social net of, you know, people. There's going to be things later, like I, I didn't show them in this, but there's going to be things later like guild competitions and stuff where having... A one man guild is, is not going to let you win. <laughs> You're going to need your team. Um, Ed's dream. Hey, um, Wild Moopsy, make ice easier to make. Make ice easier to make? Oh, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Like the uh, needing ice in the future, so. There's a question about when's the play to earn coming for Michelle answered roadmap is in the pins. Um, some questions about what happens when you do daily challenges, where are you going to earn? You're going to earn the dirt coin. Okay, so I'm seeing questions mostly about guild leadership, um, how it impacts daily earnings, what dirt is going to do. Oh my gosh, I love this <laughs> troll question. How much semi troll? It's actually there is a real question underneath it. But how much soil do you need to create one x nitrate for the ultimate boost? Um, what, do you? Do either of you guys, you think it's um, Riant or um, Wild Moopsy to talk about maybe the upgrade materials or anything at this time, or you want to wait till it's more solid? Yeah, let's wait till it's more solid. Alrighty. But yeah, upgrade NFTs are coming soon. Please, I'm Jack. Can I be my own one man deal? You sure can. It'll be the LL Guild, I guess. Yeah, the light paper, um, I mean, when, when we have it, we'll share it, right? I don't know what else to say about that. Yep. OK. You guys feel like the live questions are accounted for here? We're not skipping any, right? I've been trying to do a good job at answering them all in chat as we're going. Yeah, same here. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to leaks. What about our upcoming competition info, Farmer Michelle? Uh, next week's competition is for do, do, uh, Sam and Panini. That's going to be a new craft this week. So that's going to be made in the cafe. Uh, craft time is 45 seconds. The ingredients for that are one salmon, one baguette, three lettuce, one tomato, and one cheese. Lettuce is the new crop this week. That's going to require seven water to grow. It's going to be made at 420 seconds. It will be affected by all the same things as most of the other crops. So dirty, shady, salty, that'll all slow it down. So you're going to want to make sure those are not in the shade or the salt or pollution they grow pretty slow. Sam and Panini looks like a fun one. I'm pretty excited about it.
Hmm. I believe I already posted in the announcements the full town image, or did I just do a partial one? I don't even remember. At the uh, I did a full one already. Uh, the edges are North Ocean, East River, South Plains, and West Plains. It's one gas for trade time, 60 seconds for the standard vehicle, 30 seconds for the Express Depot or the Express Pier. Uh, standard gala rewards with top 1200 and a blueprint this week. That blueprint will be for a new building that isn't in the game yet, but you'll find out next week, probably on Leaky Wednesday, what that building will be. Hmm. And that's what your blueprint will be for. It'll be a crafty one, so it'll help with uh, craft ingredients inside that new building. Hmm. Nice. <clears throat> Seems pretty straightforward. No questions about that yet. Well, let's see. Riant, are you ready to talk about any sort of sale we might have? Absolutely. All right. So today, in a few hours, we have we will have the Spring Garden, a rare NFT hitting the store, uh, $200 with 500 units in stock. Um, it will grant a yield of two to one passive lettuce head radius to surrounding tiles, right? Um, especially helpful for the Panini competition and future crafts that use lettuce. Not only with that, also next Monday, 100 units of the Bright wind will hit the store on, at our usual 11 a.m. at a uh, 1200 price point uh, next Monday. So we are also planning second batch releases for a few more NFTs, which not all units hit the store when they were first released, such as the Crystal Sanctum, Epic Arcane Ring, and the Green Forge, among others. So really looking forward to it. Not only that, we have another news regarding NFTs. We are uh, planning a rework program, uh, which we want to launch uh, to improve some NFT releases that felt underwhelming when they were first launched. So players that got them can receive uh, better utility from them. So more info will uh, we will share more info when it's closer to release. Hmm. Awesome. Any other live questions out there from anybody? Yeah, people wanting the ice stuff. Is there a purchase limit on the bright winds? Let's see, that would be a question for Riant, though I can also check quick. Oh, thanks, Nacha. I love the direction where the guilds and game is going. <clears throat> yeah, the leaderboard, uh, that's big. Absolutely. Yeah, we want that to show to be as accurate as possible for you guys. We just got to get through these promises first. Yeah. Or even like one suggestion last week was like, if, um, if you're not going to see up to the minute leaderboard for people that are offline, right? Can we at least see how, whether or not somebody is offline and how long they've been offline on the leaderboard? Um, that's another cool feature. Crypto dude asking for a ice super tile. That'll be interesting. Well, that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Like yeah, we did have a, there was like icy edges in the old version of the game, but they didn't give cold. I do think that we had talked about adding that into the game, uh, but we don't have that super tile currently, but it would definitely be. It definitely would be pretty cool to have an icy edge that gave cold. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. I'll look into that. That would be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
All right, uh, guys, get your questions in. Um, we're about to wrap up, so if you got want any more live questions, put them in Discord or YouTube. Oh, I had a question for y'all. Have you seen the uh, Gauss swap? Let us know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Wild Moopsie Ninja Surprise, Reant, Farmer Michelle. It's been an awesome Friday morning. Yeah. It has been. It is an awesome Friday. Without a doubt. For Friday lunch. <laughs> That's right. It's a pizza party up here. We have a pizza party, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks again. Remember, if you're on YouTube, to click like, click subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't ever have to wonder when we're starting these again. Um, always reach out to us on Discord. We're ready to listen. We will not initiate DMs to you, but we will answer them. And have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Enjoy the weekend, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good weekend, guys. Have a good See weekend. Ya. Bye.